for the listeners out there who haven't had an OBE, Ryan, what do you suggest their first steps they should take to adventure and explore the out of body experience? Uh, lucid dreaming is the most accessible and easy way to get started. Um, Stephen, Stephen LeBurge wrote a really known book on lucid dreaming. Just lucid dreaming in general, exploring that and beginning to have lucid dreams. It's really the gateway or the entry because until you have a lucid dream, your entire orientation is physical. Like Mm -hmm. you probably haven't had an experience in the non-physical yet besides your dreams that your normal dreams. But if you haven't gone into that with lucidity, then they just, you just uh, experience them as memories once you've, once you've woken up. But once you're able to enter um, a dream and be lucid in it, now you're actually in non-physical consciousness. You are in a non-physical body. You're, you're in the dreamscape. And the way that OBEs and lucid dreams are remembered is the same. So like you, you remember an OBE upon awakening in the physical body. So if you don't remember the OBE, it's as if it didn't happen. It's the same with lucid dreaming. You can have a very, very long lucid dream, but if for whatever reason you don't remember it, Hmm. you'll wake up as if it didn't happen. And then, you know, something later that day triggers your dream memory. And then you literally remember on the spot, oh, I just, I had this whole lucid dream thing that was going on. It's the same with OBEs. Like you could be having OBEs right now. I mean, you are having them, but unless you remember them, it's as if they're not happening. 